The shock of his apparent resurrection may have passed, but Arkady Babchenko spent the day apologizing for making everyone think he was dead in the first place. Weirdly, he was presented with his own memorial that staff at the TV station where he worked had made for him. At a news conference, he filled in details of the hoax he had the starring role in. I made a shirt with bullet holes in it, he said. They used real pig's blood on me with help from a makeup artist. As the scenario played out in front of his house, with police investigating an apparent crime scene, Babchenko says he washed up at the morgue. I sat wrapped in a sheet, he said, and then watched the news about what an amazing guy I was. Ukraine is treating Babchenko like a hero, even meeting the president, suggesting the sting generated hard proof of Russia's bad intentions. Whereas in Russia, the death hoax is being called a primitive farce. State TV spent the day deconstructing not just Babchenko's statements, but also Western coverage of the story, including our reports in the CBC that highlighted the ethical concerns many journalists have about faking news stories. On that at that point, Babchenko was blunt. The choice was, do you want to survive or do you want to preserve ethics, morals and cleanliness of your profession? I chose the option to survive. As for the man arrested, Ukrainian TV identified him as an employee of a German-Ukrainian arms manufacturer. They claim he was paid to line up the hit on Babchenko and dozens of other people. Still, Ukrainian police have yet to reveal anything that directly ties anyone in Russia to the murder plot. Asked whether it could all be an elaborate Ukrainian setup, Babchenko said possibly, but just because he hasn't seen a signed order from Vladimir Putin doesn't mean the plot wasn't real. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.